The Tree of Life, a poem by the Holy Ari. Behold, that before the emanations were emanated and the creatures were created, the upper simple light had filled the whole existence. And there was no vacancy, such as an empty air, a hollow, but all was filled with its simple, boundless light. And there was no such part as head or end, but everything was one simple light, balanced evenly and equally. And it was called the light of himself. And when upon his simple will came the desire to create the worlds and emanate the emanations, to bring to light the perfection of his deeds, his names, his appellations, which was the cause of the creation of the worlds, then the Ein Sof restricted himself. In his middle point, precisely at the center, and he restricted that light and drew far off to the sides around that middle point. And there remained an empty space, an empty air, a vacuum precisely from the middle point, and that restriction was equally around that empty middle point. So that the space was evenly circled around it. And after the restriction, when the vacant space remained empty, precisely in the middle of the light of itself, a place was formed where the emanations, creations, formations, and actions might reside. Then, from the light of itself, a single line hung down from above, lowered into that space, and through that line he emanated, created, formed, and made all the worlds. Prior to these four worlds, there was one light of itself, whose name is One in wondrous hidden unity. And even in the angels closest to him, there is no force and no attainment in the insult. As there is no mind overcreated that could attain him, for he has no place, no boundary, no name.